Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let me see, Susana, good evening. How are you? Uh, good evening. Oh, good. Really quiet. Right. Nice. How was the weekend? And on Saturday in the morning, I, I go to the work. And in the afternoon, I did shopping and errands. Um, at night, uh, with the family at home. Okay. Um, on Sunday in the morning, we go out for breakfast. Uh, we return home. We were resting. In the afternoon, we visit the family. Uh, at night, we went to dinner uh, with my children celebrating St. Valentine. Okay. Oh, okay. Sounds nice. You had a lot to do this weekend. And you spend some good time with your yes. family, right? Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Susana. Yes. Good. Sulma. No good le escucho bien. Oh, really? How about now? Is it better? Sí. Okay. So, good evening, Sulma. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Hi. Okay. I feel happy. Nice. So how was the event on Saturday? Yes. How yes. was it? Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Okay, yes. good. So how was your weekend? Um, um, my husband family visit me we preparing a barbacoa barbacoa oh, yeah oh that's good um, we go to the church very in nice the, in the morning it's um no sé cómo se dice pero oh, Officially in vacation. Oh, <laughs> you're on vacation now? <laughs> Goodness, that is good news. Pretty cool. You got some time to rest. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that, Sulma. That's great. Jose Manuel, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How's everything? Hey, uh, fine. Thank you. Okay, great. And how was the weekend? Uh, but the uh, Saturday, Saturday like to celebrate Valentine's Day. Okay. And on Sunday, relax in and home with family. All right. In Sounds place. nice. Yeah. Mm, great. And how about Cecilia? Good evening, Cecilia. Good evening. How's everything? Very good. Okay, how was the weekend? Uh, weekend with a little rest. And Saturday doing homework, my daughter. Okay. And Sunday enjoying with family all right sounds good you had some time to rest and enjoy with family spend some time with them that's nice nice very nice <laughs> perfect let me see Daria Ramos good evening hello teacher how are you doing fine a good day oh great and how was the weekend uh, the weekend is more special. Okay. Sunday, go to the beach with my mother all day. In the Sunday, in the Sunday, uh, in the morning, go to the church. In the afternoon, with my friends, celebrate 
Valentine's Day. And that's it. All right, excellent. It sounds very nice. Yes. Hello, Frank. Your microphone. Good evening, teacher and everybody. I'm Hi. here with you again to ready to learn. Excellent. So how was the weekend? Um, I did a lot of things, working so hard. Okay. Uh, yesterday I went to the book around because I painting. I told you last week mm -hmm. that I painting some murals in a book around in oh, yeah. San Salvador Vol volcano. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little frustrated because really? I'm accustomed to participate in, in running races. And yesterday oh. uh, here uh, in, in Santa Ana, I, I couldn't participate because of my work. But mm -hmm. another time I will participate, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you'll have and more you, opportunities teacher, to go running. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a good wow. weekend. Um, I went to the beach with my sisters and some friends. So it was really cool. Mm, we got nice. some relaxing time and yeah, swimming. And yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was nice, but I feel kind of tired. So that's the bad thing. <laughs> but yeah, ah. I'm happy. <laughs> Very nice, teach. Okay, let me see Alfonso Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How's everything? Sorry? How's everything? How are you doing? How are you? It's very good. Okay. And how about the weekend? How was it? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Fui a visitar a mi familia Chalatenango. I went to visit my family. Uh, in Chalatenango. I want to visit my family in Chalatenango. Oh, nice. Um, uh, my brothers and my father. Okay, so what did you do there? Did you go out or do something special? Uh, ¿Qué hizo en Chalatenango? Se quedaron en casa, salieron. <laughs> what did you do? Eh, no, nos quedamos, en, eh, nos quedamos en la casa, ya okay. estuvimos viendo unas películas, jugamos un rato. Eh, yesterday, I go, eh, I go, o ayer fui a, a, fuimos mejor dicho, perdón, eh, a, a, al parque, a la plaza, porque es, mm. es de, son de Nueva Concepción. Oh, ok. All right, great. <laughs> I'm glad you had some time with your family. You spent some time with them. Yes. Cool. Dalia Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? It's been fine, thank you. How about okay. You? Good, I'm doing pretty well, thanks. And how about the weekend? How was it? It's kind of... Uh, seeing some family issues, but okay, overall. Yeah. Right, that's good. Carlos Jose, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine. Okay, great. And how was the weekend? Um, fine, I... And watch TV and a lot of series and I rest very much. Okay, that's good news. You had some time to rest. Yes. And let me see, Carmelina just joined. Good evening, Carmelina. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good, I'm fine. Excellent. How was the weekend? Oh, I'm okay. My weekend with my family. So you just stayed home with family.
Carmelina? Se me you escucha just... como cortado, teacher. Oh, really? Maybe my internet is not so good. So I told you, um, you stayed home with your family. That was it. Yes. Okay. With my mother and brothers. All right, that's nice. Okay, so let's start with today's session. Let me see what we've got for today. So welcome everybody. This is our last week of classes for this level, right? For this module. We're almost done, just missing four more classes and we are in Principiante too. So that's good news. And today we are starting with a little speaking, a little sharing. Um, I'll send you to the breakout room so you work in pairs and you are going to answer these questions. Just keep on talking, have a conversation with your partner. And we get questions like, where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? And then after you answer all of this, you gotta uh, talk about um, one of your friends or maybe it could be your wife, your husband, your children, um, who else? Your mother, your father, yes, whoever you want to talk about. And then you talk in the third person, right? Um, where does he or she work? What does he or she do exactly? Is his or her job difficult? What time does he or she start work? When does he or she finish work? And does he or she like his or her job? So this is what we are going to be doing. I'll give you 10 minutes so you talk with your partner. Just keep on talking and sharing. Let me send you to the breakout rooms now so we get a chance to, to share. There we go. And I'll send the picture to the WhatsApp group, of course. Bueno, ah, lo mandaron al grupo donde caen los mensajes de que nos estuviéramos actualizando los datos. Uh -huh. Ahí creo que sí, ese es. No, ¿cómo no? Parece... Ah, no, Lili lo mandó. Uh -huh. Ahí las la teacheres. ¿eh? <risa> 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 <Ay, ay, ay. risa> Empecemos. Where do you work? Um, I work to the to the morning uh, in uh, eight. Pero no es eight donde trabaja. Four. Porque es where do That's you where, work? Where, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I work uh, in um, foundation con la zafa. Mm -hmm. in, in Santa Ana. Okay. Why do you do exactly? 
¿Cuál es, cuál es exactamente el lugar? Epa? Ajá. Um, the direction is uh, Alto del Palmar. Um, Lotificación San Carlos. Entre 31 y 32 Avenida Sur. Ok. ¿Es tu trabajo interesante? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. What time do you start work? A qué hora llego al trabajo, ya? A qué hora empieza a trabajar? Uh, I go to work uh, in eight o'clock, eight or oh, eight a.m. Okay. Do you like your job? When do you get it? When do you finish? Like your job. Si le gusta su trabajo. No, pero la anterior es a qué horas termino. Ay, perdón, perdón. Sí. When do you finish work? Uh -huh. Ya quiero terminar. When uh -huh. do you finish work? At 4 p.m. Okay. Do you like your job? Yes. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Me encanta mi trabajo. I love, I love my it. job. Uh -huh. I, ajá, I love my job. Okay. Tell me about you. Uh, espérame, que me hable más de usted. Mm, in uh, that one, you have to choose another person. For example, tell me about your best friend or tell me about your husband. Tell me about your mother, your work. father. <laughs> Tell um, me about your son. Mi hija o mis hijos. Ajá, sus hijos. Tiene varios hijos. Two. Okay. Ajá. Eh, a little boy. Yeah, I have a um, eight years old. Yeah. Okay. Um, when do you finish your work? I finish. I finish at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay. Do you like your your help? No. Um. Yes, I like, very like, very much. Tell me about, about your... Um, Esto es, dime acerca de, háblame acerca de ti, o dime algo acerca de ti, uh -huh. sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. But there you have to complete it, sorry, I'm here. So there you have to complete it by mentioning a person, a specific person. For example, tell me about your best friend. Or tell me about your dad. Tell me about your mom. Oh. Or your husband. It could be your wife. I mean, just choose a person and then you continue asking the questions. For example. What does he do? For example, tell me about your friends. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh, your friend. Tell me about your friend. Yes, that's fine. Yes. Okay. Mm, my friends, mm, um, my friends, I see, I, I see little, little time, and because I, I have full, full work, uh, full my family. Um, and pandemia. I see, I see not, not, not much. <laughs> you don't see them much. Okay. No, see. <clears throat> yeah. So the other questions refer to another person. For example, it could be um, Cecilia, tell me about your best friend. Um, the first question is, where does she work? 
Oh, well, she, uh -huh. Porque estamos hablando de ella, de la amiga, ¿verdad? I mean, yeah, if it was a girl, I mean, I didn't ask you, sorry. <laughs> okay. Where does she work? And she works in um, nutric nutricionista. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what does she what does she what, what does, does she, she do exactly? Um she she does um full she does say say light um and so cooking and cooking cakes and different food okay um let's see where is the next so yeah is here is here how difficult Maybe, maybe difficult. Maybe, no. <laughs> okay. Digo yo. <laughs> what time? What time does she start work? And she she starts work at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. When does she finish the work? Uh, she finish finishes words um, five five p.m. Five p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does she like? Uh, uh, does she like his her job? Her job? Mm -hmm. Yes, she likes. Ok, muy bien. Ok. Ahora voy yo. Ok. Eh, Tony, where do you work? Eh, I work. I work in. Ah, tengo el que decir. Donde, el lugar donde trabaja. Okay. Eh, tendría que ser I work in San Salvador o específicamente el lugar. I work in ¿Cómo es el edificio? ¿Cómo es ese edificio? Miss Building. Eh, edificio. Building. 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 Yes. Building. I work in building uh, Sykes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you do exactly? Actually, uh, esa sería donde, donde es exactamente, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hace exactamente? Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, I, am, I am operator de matching. Matching o matching? Mm -hmm. Matching operator. Machine operator. I'm sorry. I am okay. I am machine operator. Okay. Is your job interesting? Joe, what is? Eh, la tercera. Is you is your job interesting? ¿Qué es Joe? Su trabajo. Es es interesante. Es, es interesante. Um, Maybe. <laughs> the word is maybe. Okay. What time do you start work? I start. I seria. I do start. What time do you start work? I start work at. I start work at uh, eight. Uh, eight. 8 mm, I am. Okay. 
And what do you finish work? I finish work uh, at uh, 13 p.m. I finish work 13 p at, fin at 13 p.m. or um, 1 p.m. Okay. And do you like your job? Yes, I like. Okay. Tell me about your, your mother. My mother? My mother is... Is very good uh, with, with me. <laughs> it's excellent. Okay. It's, well, it's a pretty warm. It's a pretty, pretty warm. Pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where does she work? Um, this is uh, Miss Para. Hi. Para trabajo en casa. Housewife. Housewife. It's a housewife. So housewife. So housewife. Housewife. Let me type it on the chat so you can see the word. Housewife. Ah, housewife. Yes. Okay, entonces sería... She's a ho she's she does a houseway. She is a housewife. She is a houseway. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. thank you. She is a hobby. Okay. What does she do exactly? Um <clears throat> ¿Cómo puedo decirlo en este caso? She does the housework, she does the chores, um, what? She cleans the house, she washes the dishes, and I mean. Please clean the house, cleans the house. Okay. Um, is her job difficult? Uh, Yes, difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what time does she start work? She start work at uh, 6 a.m. Okay. Um, what time does she All right, welcome back everybody. Now let's continue. Let me share this. Okay, so today we are start, we are starting the last unit that we are going to cover in this module. That is unit number four. And it talks about addresses and places. This is our video conference number 16. And the topic that we are going to study today is how to use preposition. Our general objective for this week would be participants will develop competencies that will allow them to ask, give and share personal information re related to their workplace, occupation and directions in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. And our specific objective is participants will be able to describe the location of my and others workplaces and specifically our class objective for today is participants will be able to use prepositions of place. So let's talk about first, um, let's talk about places in town. What places do you know? Places in town, for example, the park. What other places do you know in town? 
Stadium. The stadium. The other. The muse museum. Museum. A hall. Hospital. Hospital. What was the other one? Oh. The hall. Restaurant. 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 Restaurants. Shop. Church. Park. The supermarket. Okay, the supermarket. What else? Park. The park is the first the first one. We got it. Ah, sorry. Cement cemetery. Yes, the cemetery. Super mall. The mall. Any other? Bus. What is it? Bus station. Bus station. Uh, historics, history center. El centro histórico se dirá así. Um, yeah, historic center. Historic library center. Okay, the library. Theater. Can you repeat that one? Police Park. station. Police station. Mm -hmm. Theater. The theater. The school. The school. Mm -hmm. Do we have any others? College. Yeah. College. Oh, that is I not was. a good color. Uh, okay, just give me a second. I'll change the color. Okay, so the other one was the college. What else? Police station. The police station. Oh, we already got it. Oh, sorry. Hospital. The hospital, I think. Yeah, we got it too. The post office. Post office. Post office. Good. The pub. Pools. Yep. That's a good court. one. Court. Court. Bar. Or, yep. Bar. Bank. The bank. That's a good one. Mails. What is? The city hall. We already got it here. The hall or the city hall? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. The cinema. The cinema. Good. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Hotel. 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 Yes. <laughs> Bookstore. Hotel. Can you repeat it? <laughs> Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, we got many. So let's practice them by pronouncing. So please repeat. Park. 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 Stadium. 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 Museum. 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 Hospital. Hospital. Hall. Hall. Restaurants. Restaurants. Church. 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 Supermarket. 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 Cemetery. 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 Mall. 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 Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Historic center. Historic, Historic center. center. Library. 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 Police station. Police station. Police station. Theater. 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 School. 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 College. 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 Post office. 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 Schools. 
Pulls. Cart. 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 Bar. 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 Bank. 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 Pharmacy. 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 Cinema. 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 Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Hotel. Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, pretty well. Now let's continue by talking about prepositions of place. So last week we studied prepositions of time. What prepositions did we study? On, in, at. On, in, at. So the same prepositions are used for talking about time and also place. So we already studied how to use them for time. Now we are getting to the place ones. So let's use on with means of transportation. For example, when we say on a bus, on a bus. Can you read the next one, Dale Margarita? On a train. Thanks, Tony. Next. Can you read it? On a taxi. On a, just read it. Solo la ley. Ah, sorry. On a plane. On a plane. Thanks. Susana? On a ship. Okay. Next one, Jose Manuel. On a bike. On a bicycle or motorcycle. Okay, on a bicycle or motorcycle. Then be the air passes to Next one, Frank. Let's see, Carmelina, can you read it? On a horse. On a horse. Okay, so those are the means of transportation, right? Bus, train, plane, ship, bicycle, motorcycle, horse. For referring to something happening uh, on them, we use on, right? We say on a bus, on a train, and so on. So now please everybody repeat. On a bus. On a, on bus. a bus. On a bus. On a train. On a train. On a, train. On a plane. On, on a plane. plane. <laughs> on a ship. On a ship. On a ship. On a bicycle. On a bicycle. On a motorcycle. On a motorcycle. On a horse. On the, on the horse. On the horse. Okay, and then another use that we have for the preposition on is for communications. That will be, for example, whenever we say on the radio, on the radio. So, Alma, can you help me to read the next one? Um, your microphone, Sulma. On the television. Thanks. Next one, Cecilia. On the phone. On the phone. Okay, can you read the next one, Dalia Ramos? On the internet. All right, so those are some examples of communications that we use with on, right? We say on the radio, on the television, on the phone, and on the internet. Repeat, please, on the radio. On the, the radio. 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 On the television. On the, the television. television. On the phone. On the, on phone. the phone. On the internet. On the internet. On the internet. Okay. Now let's see what, what else we got. We also use on for surfaces. For example, when we say on a table, on a table. On a table. Then, Rafael, can you help me to read the next one, please? On a wall. On a wall. Tania Margarita. 
on the floor. Carlos Jose? On the roof. Zulma? On the menu. Thanks. And the next one, let me see, Frank? On the page. Carmelina? On the door. And Tony? On the shelf. Dalia Ramos? On the door. Perdón, and, perdón. Okay, on, no the second, on the second floor. Thanks. Okay, so as you see, we're talking about surfaces. On a table, on a wall, on the floor, and so on. Now repeat, on a table. On a table. On a table. On a wall. On a wall. On a wall. On the floor. On the floor. On the roof. On the roof. On the menu. On the menu. On the page. On the page. On the door. On the door. On the shelf. On the shelf. On the second floor. On the second floor. Okay, we also use on for referring to avenues. For example, when we say on the 7th Avenue, on the 7th Avenue. And the same goes for streets. As when we say on Oxford Street, on Oxford Street, or on Columbus Street. And now let me let me ask you, what street do you live in? What's the name of your street? Um, Jose Manuel. What's the, the name avenue. of your street? Um, okay, you tell me the avenue or the street, whatever you want. On the 7th Avenue, a street on oh. Oxford oh. Street, on oh. Columbus Street. Okay, so now tell me about your house, Jose Manuel. Where is it? On what avenue or what street is it? Um, so you may uh, say, I live on, for example, in my case, I live on 7th Street. How about you? In a street and in a strip and five and five avenue on fifth avenue okay very well frank how about you where do you live in the main avenue of an independencia and 20 20th street okay dalia ramos where do you live I live in San Marcos. Okay. In this street. Uh, on, on what street? On, on street. What is the name uh, of the street? 50 of September. Oh, okay. 15 of, the, of September. Good. Yeah. Okay. Sulma, where do you live? Um, I live in Santa Ana, um, and H, H Avenue in 50th Avenue, Avenue Sur. Okay, great. Dalia Margarita, how about you? Where do you live? I live on, on San Jacinto Ave. Okay. Avenue. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Cecilia, where do you live? Um, I live on Principal Street and um, Avenue. Okay, so you say a main street, main street, calle principal, main street. 
All right, Carlos, tell me about you. Where do you live? I live in Main Street uh, of Alta Vista. On Main Street in Alta Vista, okay, good. Okay. Erika Beatriz, where do you live? Okay, how about Tony? Tony, where do you live? I live in at Maven Street. Okay, good. And Susana, how about you? <clears throat> I live in Highway Road to Metapan and oh, no. Main Street. Uh -huh. Main Street um, Urbanización El Milagro. All right, good. So remember, we use on for talking about streets and avenues. So whenever we stay or we talk about where we live, we say I live on 7th Street or I live on eh, Avenida Jose Domingo Peñate, right? Jose Domingo Peñate Avenue. Okay, then we have the next proposition, which is in. We use in with countries, as when we say in England or in France, in El Salvador, in Colombia. Mention more countries, please. China. In China. Any other? Guatemala. In Guatemala. Spain. In Spain. In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Panama. In Panama. Okay, so we use in whenever we're talking about countries. Then we also use in for talking about cities, as some of you mentioned, right? I live in San Jacinto. Or you can say in London, in Santa Ana. What else? Mention more cities? In Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. In San Salvador. In San Marcos. In San Marcos. Chalchuapa. In Chalchuapa. In Liverpool. In Soyapan. Yep. Okay. We also use in for referring to neighborhood. As when we say in Manhattan or in Chinatown. Or for example, you can say in Barrio San Antonio, for instance. Then another use for in is for enclosed spaces. We use in with enclosed spaces. So that means um, spaces where you are, what? Inside. For example, when we say in a traffic jam, in a traffic jam, in Times Square, in a building, in a car, in a taxi, in a boat, in a helicopter, in a lift or elevator, in, a le in an elevator, in the living room, in the attic. Now let's repeat, in a traffic jam, in a traffic, in a traffic jam. jam, in Times Square, in, in Times Square. Square. In a building, in a, in a building. building, in a car, in a car, in a, car. In a taxi, in a, in a taxi, in a boat, in a, in a, boat. In a boat, in a helicopter, in a helicopter, in a lift, in a, in a, lift. Lift. In a lift, in an elevator. In the, in, the elevator. Elevator. in the living room, in the living room, in the attic, all right. Our next preposition is at. At is used with addresses. For example, when we say at 734 State Street or at 292 Oxford Street. 
And we also use at whenever we are referring to specific locations or specific points. For instance, when we say at the Empire State Building, at the corner, at the bus stop, at the door, at the top of page, at the end of the road, at the entrance, at the crossroads, at the front desk, at a conference, at a party, at a concert, at someone's house, at the doctors or at the hairdressers, at the bus stop, which is repeated at the end of the row. Oh, that one's repeated. Maybe I copied it twice, sorry. Okay. So now let me tell you, if we, we had to represent the prepositions with some figures, it would be something like this. So this one will be for in. It's because we get something inside. Then for on, we would have something like, like this. And if we're talking about at, we would have a specific point, a specific place. Mm. So we could represent it with something like this. Because it's very specific, it's something smaller. So this one, we would call it in. This one would be the representation of on. In this one, at. But just for you to have an idea, remember that whenever we talk about enclosed spaces, we use in. For example, here, if this one was a box, for example, the thing that we're talking about must be inside of it. That's why we say this one represents in. Then we have this one, which is on, as on surfaces. So here you have the box again, but the things are not inside, but they are just on the surface. And at would be for talking about some specific places or some specific points, as we already mentioned, right? Like at the office, at the school. Okay, we'll continue with a little exercise, a little dictation exercise. I'll dictate some sentences, so get ready to write and you write them down, then you are having to make the drawings for them. So let's try that. Everybody get your pencil and paper. We are going to write down some sentences. I'll dictate them. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes, ready. All right, perfect. So copy the first sentence. It says, I'm in my office. I'm in my office. I'm in my office. I'm in my office. Great, right, please. <laughs> I'm in my office. Then you write it and you make a drawing. Just make a drawing to represent that sentence. I'm in my office. Make a drawing. Let me give you one minute so you make the drawing. Me. Hi. Eh, no comprendo lo que voy a hacer. Oh, okay. Let me explain it again. I'll dictate some sentences. You copy them. Les voy uh -huh. dando unas oraciones, las copian. Y también les voy a dar unos segunditos, un minutito por ahí, para que vayamos haciendo un dibujito que las represente. So it's uh -huh. just a simple drawing, okay? 
Bye. Bye. Okay. So again, let me repeat number one. I'm in my office. I'm in my office. That is number one. Number two, we are at the stadium. 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 Copy it and make the drawing. Number three, it says they are on the bus. They are on the bus. They are, they are on the bus. They are on the bus. Make the drawing. Number four, <clears throat> the boys are at the park. 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 Let me just give you a couple of seconds to make a drawing. Number five, my mom is at home. 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 Number six, my children are at the museum. My children are at the museum. My children are? At the museum. My children are at the museum. Thank you. My children are at the museum.
Okay, then we have number seven. Yeah. The chocolate is in the box. 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 And number eight. Mom. My bag is on the sofa. My bag is on the sofa. My bag is on the sofa. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now let's check them. We got we got the first one. I'm in my office like this. Check your grading. Next one was we are at the stadium. Number three, they are on the bus. The boys are at the park. My mom is at home. My children are at the museum. The chocolate is in the box. And my bag is on the sofa. Check yours and tell me how you did. Did you get them all? Were they correct? Okay, did you all finish? Yes. Good, how did you do? ¿Qué tal lo hicieron? Did you get the sentences right? And I, six, okay? okay. And two, bad. Oh, okay. You only had two mistakes, that's good. Two bad. Really? What happened, Tony? <laughs> Dos malas. Oh, only two. Okay, that's fine. Yes. That's fine. And the others? How did you do? Good? Good. Perfect. Okay. So after this practice, we are going to work in our exercises. For today, we got this. And we are going to work on exercise A, put the right preposition. That will be in, on, or at. There you have some sentences. You must just add the preposition to complete them. And then we have exercise B, circle the correct phrase. We have different options on the table, in the table, or at the table. You circle the one that is correct. Exercise C, make sentences using the phrases from the previous exercise. You just write some sentences. Exercise D, fill in the blanks using in, on, or at. And then we've got exercise E, make five sentences using in, on, or at. That one is free. And then you share them with your classmates. So each of you has to make five sentences. 
And of course, we're working in groups. So let me recreate the breakout rooms. So we go and work together. There we go. I'm opening them now and I'm sending the, the practice to you in just a couple of minutes. We have 30 minutes to work on this. Voy a pasar a mi correo. A ver. Ta -ta. Quiero ver si me Ya la pudo ver, Zulma. No, si no me salgo, si no se puede, si no la pudiesen compartir, me salgo para mi WhatsApp. Mira, me lo voy a pasar al. Solo dime un momento. Quiero ver. Vamos a ver. cargando Vamos a terminar, vamos a hacer como el complemento, así como en las anteriores. Sí. In, on o at, en los espacios, uh -huh. yes. refieres, según sea la proposición. Yes. Sí. Ay, sí, que yo no sé por qué no me van a dejar pasar, sí. Ahí estamos. Sí, te lo, <risa> no lo ganas con mérito. Ajá. Ah, verdad. Pero a la hora de la clase, nada. No. <risa> no, son bromas. Bueno, vamos. La primera dice: He's swimming. Um. Uh, River, uh, calle, calle, ¿verdad? Pero ellas están nadando, dice. Ellas están ah, nadando en el río. Ya están en el río. Ah. Entonces... And, at es cuando van, creo yo, ¿verdad? Dijo. A ver, a ver. Miss, 
Uh, Hi. Question. Tell me. Repeat them, please. Um, um, in on a in on a las proposiciones las podría uh -huh. repetir como en chiquito para tener la idea. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> Eh, oh, y at es cuando ya cuando va uno como en camino, ¿verdad? Mm, Por ejemplo, really. en esta oración, si dijera at the river, no podemos decir swimming. No. Um, well, yeah, in that case we cannot use at, we use in, as you said. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, at the river, it would be, for example, something like very general in that case, like um, what? Uh, at the river, we find fish, for instance. So you could say that in some oh. cases, but we normally use in with the river, in the river. In the river, okay. Okay, okay, but uh, number in two seria in school. For that one, we use at, at school. Ah. So ah, yes, there is yes, a, pardon. in that case, you can actually use both, but let me explain it. So we normally say at school, whenever we are referring to, to the place in general, but then you could say mm. something like, I'm in school when you are there in the building. Sería diferente mm, okay. decir at school que in school. El in solo lo okay. podría utilizar en ese caso cuando está dentro del edificio, cuando está ahí mismo en la escuela. Like when you say I'm in the school. Ok. Uh, thanks, Miss. Okay. Uh, number three sería on the table. Porque está encima de la tabla. The, the plant is on the table. On the table. On the table. There is a spider. There is a spider. There is a spider. Yes, a spider. A spider is spider. araña. araña. Spider-Man. Ah, sí, me lo mandaron. Spider-Man. Yes. Van. Yeah. The is spider. Un... Baña. Ah, Bañera. La, baña. la araña está en el baño. Sería. In. In. On. Mm, no es. On. 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 In the no. bath. En el baño que in. está adentro. Ajá. In. In. Ajá. In. In. Ah. In. On. Don, uh, what is the meaning of on, Miss? Sobre, ¿verdad? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, sobre. Okay. On, sobre, yet. Um, yeah, if we translate it at and in, both mean in. Uh, for example, when I say in El Salvador, en El Salvador. At the meeting room, mm -hmm. en el cuarto de reuniones, o en el, yeah, en el meeting room, right? Entonces it's, se traduce de igual forma, pero, ajá, pero tienen distintos usos. Uh -huh. okay. Please, thanks, Miss. Please put those apples the bowl. in the bowl. In, in, uh -huh. in the bowl. Porque te pide que lo pongas en el lugar, in. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. En el plato. Sí. O recién. Plato hondo. Bowl. Bowl. Frank uh -huh. is. Ah, para festividades. At... Uh, at, sorry. At, at, we at say holiday. on, no, on, on holiday. holiday. 
On, on holiday. On holiday. Ay, esto, me, esto cuesta mucho, mis. <laughs> a little, yeah, it's kind of confusing, especially because we have some cases where we can use more than one preposition, I mean. De, como, como en español utilizamos la misma palabra para And todo. for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number four, number six, perdón, it's on, ¿verdad? Number seven. There are, are two, two pockets. pockets. In. In the pack, in the pack. Bolsa, eh, ¿verdad? In this pack. Ah, es, es bolsa. Oh, bolsa. bolsa ah, sí, perdón. Bolsa. 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 In this pack. Dentro. Uh, number eight, I read a story in the newspaper. On the, in the newspaper. Uh, in the, the in. Mm, yes, I believe. In what number? Mm -hmm. Number eight. eight. Number eight, I read the story. On, on the on. newspaper. On the newspaper. The cat is sitting on the chair. So, Siempre lo pone fácil, sí. lo puede, lo pone difícil. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, it's because of the topic. I know it's kind of confusing in some cases. Yes, confusing. You know, a little. Para la clase. A mí me, me apunta para el refuerzo del miércoles que aquí se me perdido. <laughs> Okay, pero, fine. Tony, pero Tony dice que va a pasar con 10 todos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> la asistencia, al menos. <laughs> al menos la asistencia. <laughs> no, miento. La asistencia lleva la primera. Pues no, sería por lo menos la plataforma. <laughs> ok, number 10. Number no. Lucy was standing. No, íbamos a nueve. Uh, the cat is sitting uh, on the, the, on the, the, bus, the bus, the bus stop. In the chair. Lucy was standing. Lucy was at, creo que es aquí. At the Recu bus recordemos stop. para qué es el at? En bus. Uh -huh. es para, on. Eh, para lugares. Bus stop. En la parada de buses, creo que es. Lucy está... En la parada de buses. Estuvo es, es, standing. Lucy estaba parada, quizá. En, mm, estaba. No estuvo. Sí, estuvo, tendría Ajá. que ser. En el, sí, en la parada de bus. Sí, sí, número 11. Yeah, I'll meet you at the cinema, porque es lugar. Uh -huh. Eh, she hung a picture, a picture on the wall. On the wall. On, on, uh, on. on the wall. Ah, ya ve, mis, ya le estamos agarrando el hilo. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Pero igual, me apunta por miércoles. Okay. Young is Tony. ¿Cuál iría aquí? Estamos hablando de. John is. John is. In the garden. On. On the garden. garden. En el jardín. At. 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 Porque es el lugar. Oh. Creo. In. 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 No es la A, la B, sino que la C. Ya. Oh. <laughs> 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 For the parts of the house we use in, like in the living room, in the bedroom, in, uh -oh. in the bathroom. So yeah, for those ones we use in. Lugares de la casa, por decirse así. O del edificio. Ah, okay. Yep. Uh, there's nothing on, on the bed. 
Antebet nei. Antebi. Antebi. I stay in home all weekend. At home. At home. Yes. Okay. Ahí okay. se estaban diciendo que la misma nos iba a ayudar. <risa> Hoy. Hombre, qué bárbaro. Aquí ya, qué ya, bárbaro. ya había reprobado. <risa> sí, ya la había reprobado. When I called Lucy, she was. When I called her. The bus. Yeah, on the, the bus. bus. On the bus. Yes. Mm. Mm? Yes, okay. we say on the bus. On, oh, the, on bus. the bus. There was a spider sailing. What is the meaning of sailing? Ceiling that is in in your house, for example, there's a ceiling at the top. Azotea. No. Um, no, techo. O terraza. Techo. Ah, techo. Ah, ok. Techo. En de techo. Sí, ceiling. Oh, ok. Primera vez que veo la, la palabra. First. In the, in the ceiling. In the ceiling. The ceiling. In or on. Mm, on. In. On porque estaría Sería sobre, on. ¿verdad? Yeah, on. Bueno, sobre el techo. Yes. Al fin le tiene una. Ahí está. <risa> una de 20. Hey, a compañero, por favor. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. It's a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Brown is on. In. Desafortunadamente, Mr. Brown está en el hospital. Está en el hospital. Sería in. In hospital. No. Mm, yes, so in that case, in that case, we could say in or or at, depending uh, on what we meant. So um, yeah, there is um a, a little difference. So it depends on what he is doing there. If he is hospitalized, we would say in hospital. If he is just there um, to do something else, to visit someone or something like that. It would be at the hospital. So, okay. in ese caso, se pueden usar las dos, in, in hospital or, or at hospital. At. Nada más que no. habría una diferencia en cuanto al significado. In hospital sería hospitalizado. Está en el hospital, mm. pero hospitalizado. At the hospital mm. sería que está tal vez trayendo una medicina o visitando a alguien, something like that. No está como que hospedado ahí o, no está, ajá, o ingresado, no está, por decirlo así. Yeah. Oh, ok. Oh, es complicado. Ay, no. <ríe> eh, <ríe> don't, don't sit on the table. On the table, sobre la tabla. Sobre la, sobre la, mesa. Mesa. Sobre la mesa. Sit in a chair. Okay. Yeah. On, in, on. Yes. There are four cushions. There are four the sofa. cushions. Cushion. 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 On the sofa. Cushion. Oh, cushion. Entonces, Entonces tiene que on, ser on, ¿verdad? On the sofa. On. On the sofa. Yes. <coughs> Exercise sí. B. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> See if it's the correct fries. Fries. Fry, fries. Una de las tres están buenas. On the table, in the table, at the table. Sería on the table. On the table. Depende del contexto, pero pongamos. Eh. No, pero bueno, sí va. Number two. Tenemos una compañera que siempre dice, depende. Ay, tío. Eh. Protejan la mía. Exacto, usted, okay. viene a hacer, usted la viene a hacer, compañero. 
on my hair. Ahí, porque podría, incluso podrían ser dos, ¿verdad? Las dos, on my head, se sí. le paró ahí un murciélago sí, en la cabeza. cabeza. Ajá. Si fuera un sombrero. Pero de, dentro de su cabeza, su fantasma que posee, o que in. poseemos, sí, sería ahí, in my head. In my head, ajá. Uh -huh. A ver. Siguiente. Next one. Dalia Ramos. Um, quiero ver. In the menu. Mm, no. Es una superficie la, la que está hablando. El, 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 no el está menú. hablando del Pero menú eso... de comida. Exacto. Como adentro. Como adentro del menú. Pero es... Uh -huh. Pero es, es on, porque es una superficie que es el menú. Y si uh -huh. ven el ejercicio que nos dio la teacher, ahí está también on the menu. Ok. On. We say on okay. the menu. Uh -huh. Aprovechando que ah. está la teacher. Uh -huh. Aprovechemos, any equivoquemos ahí. Salgamos de la duda. De... <laughs> ok. Sí. Uh, is, 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 the sixth one is. Uh, 72 High Street or in 72 High Street? And we're talking about the street, so we use on. Oh. On 72 High Street. And uh, seven? Number seven is good. We say in the garden. So normally the garden. with parts of the house, we use in, as when we say in the living room, in the dining room, in the kitchen. And in the garden, and so on. And the nine. So they said, don't hit them, right? Sí. Y la nueve, in the left or on the left? On the left. At, on. Okay. That was that. Thank you, Miss. That's all. Okay. Okay. Miss, tengo, tengo duda. Tell me. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Por qué si habla de, de una área específica a la izquierda? ¿Por qué es on? Mm -hmm. Sí, en realidad esa es una frase que ya, ya está dada. Básicamente no es que le, que le demos una explicación como tal. Sino que simplemente mm -hmm. se maneja así la frase, ¿no? Sí, tienes razón. O sea, si le buscamos una explicación, quizás no tendría mucha lógica en cuanto okay. a las reglas, ¿verdad? Que mm -hmm. es cosa que pasa mucho en el inglés, pero... Yeah, mm -hmm. it goes like that. We say on the right mm -hmm. or on the left. Bueno. Sigamos. Okay. Uy, dale acá. Sigamos, sigamos, sigamos. A ver, el turno ah, falta la 15. Sí. Pero quiero saber qué es. In forest. the forest. In. Forest. ¿Qué es? In. En un lugar encerrado, es un bosque. Bosque. Se está mm. dentro de un bosque. No sobre un dentro, bosque. Dentro, ajá. In. 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 Vaya. Muy bien. Main sentences using the phrases. <laughs> ah, yes. Uy, 15. Uy, aquí vamos a tener buen rato. <risa> vamos a ver, comenzar. ¿Qué pasó? Si sí, estamos largo. Bueno, Ay, pero sigamos. Dios mío, son 15. <risa> sí. En el mismo orden, ¿a quién le toca? Cuatro, nos van a hacer el cuatro acá. ¿Quién comenzó? ¿En la table quién comenzó? Eh, comenzó, Yo. creo. Ok, Yo. Dalia Ramos, Voy al revés. Bueno, empieza ahí entonces otra vez. A ver que comience el de Zulma. Una oración con. La Zulma. Vaya. Con, vamos a ver. Con la table. Con la table. Ah, vaya, entonces. Um, my cat. Uh, está, está en la mesa, no sé. Sí, puede ser juguete, va. My toy, car. Oh, uh -huh. Aunque yo dije mi gato está en la mesa. 
Ah, gato. Ah, va. Uh -huh. Ah, carro, y que un carro sobre la mesa. ¿no? Is on the table, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. On the table, okay. eso. Okay. Muy buena, muy buena. Vamos con In Spain, Dalia Ramos. I live in Spain. Uh -huh. Eso, muy bien. In the pub. ¿A quién le toca a mí, verdad? Sí. sí. I drink some beers in the pub. Qué rico. Mm. <laughs> Hay que compartir, va. <laughs> La cuatro. I sleep in the living room. De veras. No? ¿Cómo dijo? I sleep. Me quedo dormida en la en el libro. No. Sí, a veces. Sí. Mm. Y ha despertado la mañana siguiente, ya allí mismo. Mm -hmm. No. No, Como tampoco. Al rato, rato me despierto y ya me voy a resignar. Ah, bueno. Cuando era chiquito, no lo llevaba. Chinia. Vamos con la cinco. Chinianito, ¿qué va? Arrastrado, lo llevan a uno. Cinco on the, the wall. Picture on the wall. Um, ¿Cómo aquí, es? ¿A mí me toca? Sí. No, a mí. No, a mí. Yo, yo no, no sé si me toca a mí. ¿Quién comenzó? Zulma, ajá. Zulma, después va a Dalia. Ah. Uh -huh. Ajá. Alia, toca... ¿Toca? On the wall. A Zulma. Sí. No, no, le toca a, 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 a Dalia. Mí, ¿verdad? Sí, the Dalia, picture, Dalia le toca. The picture on the wall. Uh -huh. Picture is on the wall. Is on the wall. Uh -huh. Pues iba a Zulma, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí sí. Uh, the, uh, the children, ¿cómo es que se caminan? Walking. Walk. 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 The children, children walk. Uh, ay, no vi cómo decía ahí. On oh. the 72 Avenue. No, street, ¿verdad? Ay, street. In the garden. No, no, in the garden. A mí, ¿verdad? Sí. Adam and Nib are in the garden. Are ¿Eh? in the garden. Adam and Eva. No. Adam and Nib. Are in the garden. Naked. No, mentira, ahí dejan. <risa> Creo que se sobreentiende que ellos. Ah. Entonces, solo el nombre ya se sabe que ellos son. <risa> Antes de comerse la manzana. A ver. Ah, ready. claro, ahí sí, ahí sí. <risa> La nueve. On the left. ¿Y quién le toca? A uh, Dalia. Dalia Ramos. Uh, ¿Qué era left? Izquierda. Ah, left, right. Uh -huh. On the left, a la izquierda. On the left, um, the card, no sé. 
no sé, es que no, espérense, voy a pensar. De, the museum on the left. Ah, the museum, y sería, recuerde. Is on the left. Uh -huh. Is, ajá, uh -huh, on the It's left. On exactly. the left. Okay. Okay. Is in a bottle, Surma. Mm. Uh, the butterfly is on the bird. Okay. Okay. Hey, me toca at the train station. My, mm -hmm. my family is at the train station. Train station. My family. R. Ah, oh, easy, perdón. Uh -huh. Easy, perdón. At the train station. No, my family are, ¿verdad? Are, mm, sí, perdón. No, you say my family is. Ah, is, sería. Ah, bueno. Yes, it refers Thanks. to a group, but we use it, we normally use it with a singular ah. verb. Mm, thank you. Sigue Dalia. ¿Yo? No, yo. Dalia Margarita. Yo también me llamo así. <risa> Dalia Margarita y Dalia Ramos. Ahí. Vamos, el otro. Va. No, no, el último. Faltan dos. Hombre, faltan dos. Vaya, eso de... Y un at. Her brother lives. At... Ah, no, ah, no. Y on. Y on a small town. On a small town. Ah, no, pero es... Town. Sí, es in. No. Yes, we say yes. in a small town. In a, sm in a small town. Uh -huh. On this... On the south, on the surface of Spain, the sports oh. are the sport result are the back fashion paper on the back on on back on the back mm -hmm. page of the paper. They got married. They got married. In. In. is at, at the river. At. Is. Uh -huh. At. At. Uh, his office. It is, it is on the third. It is on the third. Mm -hmm. On the third. On the floor. third floor. Tom is sitting on. Um, 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 oh. Um, um, child. Yeah. Um, Y on 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 the picture is in the wall is in, on the wall on on on, on, on the wall on mm -hmm. we meet oh. we meet at I know we meet on the station at on at the station at the station she was she was ill and still he was and stay yeah. mm. 
What is that one? Let me check. <clears throat> it says, can you read it, please? She was in 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 bed. In bed. In bed. In bed. Yes. And yeah, I know this topic is kind of confusing, but don't worry. With the practice, you're going to learn. Next, are there any good things at this we went to see a play. We went to see a play. At the national. At the national. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En la once también sería at. Mm -hmm. At. Jesus. La doce. She is still. Out there. Is still, yeah. um, still. Uh, At At mm -hmm. Hospital. Ten weeks. In for Nova. No. We were. At, at sea for 10 weeks. For 10 weeks. That's correct. You say at sea. Uh -huh. okay. because, because of the deep, we had to wait for three hours at the, at the airport. That's right, at the airport. On, on, uh, at. Yes. The airport. Mm -hmm. We didn't see her. We didn't see her in the party. We didn't see the party. At the party. We are on, brother. On the table. Oh. On the table. I want to see a spin again in Barcelona. In Barcelona. Mm -hmm. The meat, the meal is in at Significa fridge. Como refrigerador, creo. Mm. Fridge. Yes, that is the refrigerator. Mm. La leche no More es. No está en el. ¿A dónde está? Sí. ¿Dónde está? Entonces es. At, at. You say in, in the fridge. In. Oh. Yes, remember it's inside, porque está dentro del, del refri. Ah, sí, sí. Ah. Es un espacio cerrado. Ok. Peter's office. On the first. On. On the first. On the first. The first sería at, ¿verdad? En el primer. 
primero, segundo nivel. Why are all the floors on? On the floors, we say on. Yes. On the first floor. No. Why? Why this are all these floors on the bed? On the bed. On the bed. Why are all the floors on the bed? On the bed. Mm. 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 Five sentence at Ya se nos hicieron 20. Oye, Rafa, dejemos. Dice la 5. Dice la 5, Rafa. <risa> Solo me gusta at the park <risa> en inglés <risa> mitad y mitad. <risa> I, go to... I like to the park but no no I like to I like I yeah, like, park. I like Play at the park, así. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Eh? Yeah. Jugar al parque uh -huh. o no. Uh -huh. ¿Mm? Está bien así. I play, I lay, play at the park. Sí, va. Ah, me gusta jugar en el parque. En el parque, sí. Sí. Es el room de correr. I like to run. To run. To run. At the park. Okay. Digamos con el I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do red sandals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Red sandals. No más. Eh, podríamos poner. The children go. At the school. Oh. In, in that case, we cannot use at. Um, there we would need to say to the school, but that's Go a different proposition, right? Go to a yeah, school. So maybe you can change it to the, the children. Bus. Okay. The children go um, to a school in the bus. But you have to delete at. The children go to school on the bus. On the bus. On the bus. Yes. To a school on the bus. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
at home. In the stadium, for example. Así. Remember, we say at the stadium. At the stadium. Okay. No le gusta el estadio, la chacha. Bien, una vez he ido en la vida. A ver si le gusta. Podemos poner the cat is on the table. Me gustaría que okay. no volver. Ah, eh, eh, igual. <ríe> Teacher. Hi, what happened? <laughs> I thought <it was> good. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Yes. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, so um, do we have any questions about any of the exercises we were solving? Any doubts? No? Finished. Okay. We finished. Great. You did pretty well. All right. So just to wrap it up, let's um, work a little bit on the manual. So please, everybody, go to page number forty in your manuals. And the first thing that we have is a chart that shows some examples on how to use each of the of the prepositions of place. We got on, in, and at. Can we read the examples? Let me see. Susana, read the ones for on, please. On for Avenue. Continue. Oh, on the corner, the corner on the street. Okay. And the other examples for in, can you read them, Tony? Problems on my microphone. Okay. Repeat them, please. Can you read the examples over here? Okay. Um, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighbor, neighborhood. 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 Thank you. And the examples for at. Rafael, can you read them? At the meeting meti room, yep. at work, at the bank. Okay, thank you. So there you have some more examples on how to use each of the prepositions. Now let's complete exercise number five. You have to complete using the correct preposition of place. Please do it and then we check.
Finish. You finished? All right. Yes. Okay, so let's check. Number one, can somebody read it, please? I work. I work. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue in Barrio Street. Thanks. Number two. The factory is located in Libertad. In La Libertad. Number three. You see you a training room or um, or in the cafeteria. Again, you use at, at the cafeteria. So at. it's at the training room or at the cafeteria. Okay. Number four. <clears throat> Anna works in the company that is in town. Mm, very good. Number five. My relative go to the mail that is on Roosevelt Street. Exactly. Number six. Tell him that we are at at the meeting room with everybody. Oh, you got the answer over there. Okay. Good. So let me just remind you that um, we are on our last week of classes. So that means that we have to hurry with the activities, right? And the homework for today is homework number 16. And for this week, I would recommend you to do the homework each of the days because on Friday, we close everything and we're getting grades that day, okay? So you should only leave the last homework and the final test for Friday. Vayan adelantando porque el día viernes cerraríamos todo. Entonces, después de nuestra sesión, daríamos un poco de tiempo para que completen el examen y la última tarea. Sin embargo, sí, lo más recomendable sería que ya tengan las demás tareas para que no nos veamos ahí en los apuros, ¿verdad? Porque el, el mismo viernes se cierra la cuestión para las notas Y ese día, pues, eh, cerramos todo lo del curso. Ya no tendríamos tiempo para sábado, así como hemos venido haciéndolo. So just take that into account. Okay, so that's all for today's class. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.